Hey, so my name is Dimitar and today I'm going to talk about uh, a live demo um, OpenAI did uh, one year uh, from now, around one year from now. Um, my interest is uh, Flutterflow and uh, coding, like uh, mobile coding, uh, but uh, I'm also into a lot into uh, AI stuff. So I'm really interested in the OpenAI, DALI, and so on and so forth. So yeah, let me know if you uh, yeah if you like this video. Uh, you let me know that you like this kind of content, so maybe I can post more. Um, but um, but one one I wanted to sh share today with you all uh, is actually a video that uh, I I watched one year ago. Um, that is on the uh, OpenAI live. Uh, <clears throat> OpenAI, uh, sorry, OpenAI uh, channel in the uh, YouTube. And the video actually is called OpenAI Collects Live Demo. It's from the 10th of August, 2021. And actually they were showing uh, the, the thing that I was most interested in uh, was, uh, uh, was a part of the video actually the last uh the last five minutes of the video were very interested interesting for me uh they're about uh the open ai uh you can actually watch this video uh if you haven't watched it already uh but uh, uh but yeah the, the thing is that um you can actually uh you can actually do um things with uh uh with google uh, sorry with uh, microsoft word and you can actually fix uh things like for example you can fix uh the indentation of the every second uh sentence in this uh word document you can just say delete all uh so let, let me just show you what i mean special spaces Add in, I don't have to delete them. Delete all initial spaces. And it worked. It did work. The initial spaces are gone. So what they did here uh, is uh, they used uh, Microsoft Word. They had a file uh, and the text actually that they copy paste from internet and the text originally had uh, initial spaces as you can see over here. And they had a plugin, an add-in, sorry, an add-in in, in uh, Microsoft Word, uh, which they used and they clicked this button and they just, uh, uh, they just said, delete all initial spaces. And uh, basically OpenAI wrote uh, the code over here in this part and actually did execute the code as well, did the run the code and actually delete all the initial spaces. And actually this was very interesting for me because as a coder, I wanted to actually do the same thing and I wanted, because they here, they're using TypeScript and I think this is TypeScript, this is not pure Java, I think this is TypeScript and I'm all, almost sure. And, um, and yeah, they used TypeScript in order to manipulate a word file, which was very interesting for me. I actually didn't know that uh, you can do this. And I was searching the internet for a long time actually to able to find how actually, how they did it. Uh, because it was, as I said, it was very interesting for me how they did it. So the part that, the part that did this, the most interesting part I did is that they just say something and the code is written uh, by Codex. But my question was, how can I write my own code actually? And I will show you how you can do this. Uh, if you actually write Microsoft and then write uh, Word or Office 
JA. Uh, it's actually Word JavaScript API Preview. So this is the library that they used in uh, in order uh, Codex in order open sorry in order OpenAI Codex to write this code. OpenAI Codex knew about this A, uh, API from Microsoft, and this is the API. And I found the API, which is great, but I didn't know how to use the API and where this code should be written because here they're using their own add-on uh, which is not public add-on so you can you cannot uh, just find this add-on and then um, and then simply add it to microsoft word or excel or wherever and just do stuff you cannot do this but i actually found how they did it and this is the video all about that, all about that. So because I'm Linux, I will show you on another computer, uh, which have Word. So ignore the part that my Word is in Bulgarian. Uh, the thing that you need to do is you need to go to uh, in uh intent indent or how do you write how do you say this insert sorry so you need to go to insert here insert and then add on just click add on which is this over here add on and then when you click add on you should be able to see all the add-ons that you can add in microsoft word or excel or microsoft office in general and the add-on that we need is called script lab and just click on it and then click on add or install or wherever it says in your own language when you click this you will have a new tab inside here and it will say it is it should says uh, script lab so when you have this script lab you can click on it and then you can click on code when you click on code, you should be able to see uh, this panel, which is actually where you can write uh, your TypeScript or JavaScript code. And when you click run, this code will be executed. So basically what they did is uh, they used this uh, script lab they use the script lab and they use the uh, natural language um, recognition so they 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 speak they talk uh, they, they speak with the uh, open ai and they used uh, natural language producers to convert this from uh, spoken spoken words to text which you can do with numbers of uh, AI, and this is super simple to do it uh, with uh, Microsoft or with Google or with Amazon. And, uh, and they did that. And then OpenAI wrote this code over here. So for example, if you go over here in the OpenAI website, you, uh, you have to have an access to Codex, which is a beta, um, a beta version right now. So you need an access and I have an access and I can show you what uh, they did. So uh, they delete all initial spaces. So I will try to use this live right now. Uh, so using Microsoft uh, let me see how they, so it's, okay, it's, it's called Word, so I need to command that. And using Word uh, JavaScript API, so using Word JavaScript API, uh, uh, delete, create a code which will delete all any show spaces. Do I spell it correctly? Initial. I think so. 
And if I click submit, I should be able, if I'm correct, I should be able to see the same code over here or at least some code that it's nearby what what they did. So let let me see what let me see what uh, what we have. Okay, the uh, codex added in the document. Okay, yeah, probably they want me to say in the document. And as you can see, the code, I don't know if it's the same code because I cannot copy paste this code. Uh, I cannot copy a code from the video, right? And they didn't uh, include, uh, uh, fortunately, they didn't include the code. Uh, so you can copy it. But you can see that uh, it looks pretty much like the original one because you have in the original one context that you have the uh, let par uh, paragraphs, which is taking all the paragraphs, which is over here. And this part is the same because you have content that document that body that paragraphs and you have this is the same part here. And then you have con context that load and then you have paragraphs text. And you have this. This is the same. And then you have return, uh, which is not the same over here, but this is actually a normal thing. I mean, Codex will not produce the same codes over and over again. If you just slightly removed or changed some words or wording, it will change the code as well. So I don't know if this code is working, to be honest, which just Codex just produce it on the uh, on the words that I wrote here. Uh, but this is uh, what I wanted to show you is what they what they did and how they did it. And uh, because I was searching all over internet and I could not find uh, how actually they did it, which was my uh, probably I'm, I'm, I'm stupid and I just cannot figure it out by myself or it's very easy but uh, yeah it was not easy for me so I just wanted to share this experience and this is actually a working code that I wrote using using a little bit of uh, uh, OpenAI Colex uh, and using also the uh, the paragraph and some uh, sorry the API uh, documentations and some um, some Google link. I managed to actually wrote a little code that it's actually removing all the spaces. So for example, if you have a word uh, which after that have a, uh, have some symbol like a punctuation and it's actually you have a space. I don't know if you can see it exactly over here, uh, but the idea is that you in best case scenarios, uh, it's not good practice to actually have, let me remove that to be honest, I don't need that right now. So it's not good practice actually to have uh, punctuation and then the, the word and you need the space. And it says actually a word, it's complaining about it. And it says you need a space after a space should follow most punctuations, which is correct. And they just sit telling me, they're just telling me, yeah, you better uh, make it a punctuation and then a space and then the word. And if I click over here, it will just fix my mistake and do it the, the right way. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. So if I go back, yeah, and this is this should be the same thing. It's better to have no spaces before this punctuation. So you have a word, then a space, then a punctuation. And then if I click here, uh, it will fix this for me as well, which is great. But my problem is that as a Bulgarian and as a, as a someone coming from a, a non-English speaking country, I can say, for example, some random word like this one in in Cyrillic in Bulgarian, and then uh, I can use a punctuation and then write another word. And actually, this over here 
is the same as this over here um, and uh, and this this is uh, word is correcting me because this is english words and probably word is uh, i don't know have a dictionary or have a very advanced system like in uh, in in english alphabet or dictionaries or whatever and they're just fixing that which is great but for non english speaking like me it's not doing the same job so it's not it's not helping me at all it's not telling me the same thing here it is telling me uh this is not good you should it's better to have uh, no space before this punctuation which is great but it's not saying this here as well so i created this little code over here which um, i can share uh and to be honest if i run this right now so if i click over here and click run this code should fix those uh, issues i should uh, uh, click run and then i should click run here again and we'll see yeah actually they uh they're both fixed i think or isn't it i, I made it actually this should be like this so this is a mistake and this is a mistake and then i click it again i run it again and notice that here there is a space and here there is no space so they will remove the space over here the code will remove the space over here and we add the space over here this should in theory this should do uh, this is what the code should do so if i click over here you can see that this code done its job and actually it's it's telling me here uh this uh space was removed and this space was add, added so this is great and i i actually was as i said i was wondering a lot how you can do this and uh, i'm very happy that i actually managed to find to find uh, how they did it how they done it and uh, yeah this is basically it if you have any questions let me know and if you like if you like this video uh, like it and just want to add uh, at the end that um, if you want uh, to this is not only for word uh, you can do this uh, with excel and uh, powerpoint and whatever so yeah it's very powerful too and it's uh, you cannot actually do this with uh, find and replace uh, it's impossible or, or at least i don't know it so you can do a lot of a lot of things with uh, with this kind of uh, uh, plugin and add-on and uh, the code. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a good one.